Hi everyone. So we'll keep it on going with this, the second lesson. So we've got cumulative frequency curves. So you know whew, that this 60 up here is going to be the max. It's going to be like a total number, isn't it? Of, uh, observations, that's probably better than putting max, I guess. Total number. Total number. Which means then, if the 60 is a total number, you know that the 30 is the median. You know that 15 is going to be the lower quartile. And you know that 45 is going to be the upper quartile. All from GCSE. Oh, lovely. Uh, I feel like total number isn't good enough. Total number of data items, observations. They can't even read my writing, sorry. Right, let's have a look at this question then. So it says, cumulative frequency curve gives information about aircraft arrival, arriving late at an airport. So we want the median, so it goes to 60, lovely. So my median, I'm going to go with about 27, 28 minutes for that. If I actually put 27.5, we'll go with that. The interquartile range, so let's go up a quartile of 45. Q2 here. Oof, we'll do 37 and a half for that one. And lower quartile at 15. So the interquartile range is going to be 37 and a half minus 20. That's 17 and a half minutes. Oh, they got 22 though. Is it slightly over the 20? Ah, the completing pack has got it 22. Fair. It's my eyes, I'm getting old. So it says the number of aircraft arriving less than 45 minutes late. So we'll go up this time. What do we reckon? 51, 52, something like that. The completing pack says 52, so we'll go with that. 52 aircraft. Then it says a number of aircraft arriving more than 25 minutes late. Right, so we have to do a backwards one at this point. So I've got 25 here. So that looks like it's 25. Well, they've got 23. Uh, we've got 25. Never mind. So I've got 25 here. I've got 60 aircraft in total. So it's going to be 60 minus 25 is 35 aircraft. I'm ever so slightly different to the completed pack, just because I'm getting old and can't read the numbers properly. 50 don't you? Yeah. Right, so histograms then. So, oh, we're all free, I'm okay. So histograms are used to display continuous data. We know that the height is a frequency over the width, and that each block represents the area uh, the, the area of the block represents the frequency, so we know that. We know that from school. So we've got some data here. So we've got a 60 to 80 block. It's got a frequency of 8. So we know that it went 20 wide. So the height is 8 divided by 20, which is 0.4. So that maths works out for us. So we should know that. We should be all right with that. Um, Sometimes, though, you might not be happy with those numbers, the 0 0.2, the 0 0.4, the 0 0.6, the 0 0.8. So what you can do is you can scale it. And it gets a little messy when you scale it. But it's no major issue. So instead of it just being the frequency, the frequency divided by the width, I might want to scale these numbers to make it like look better. Maybe some farmers scale that I want to work with. So it says, 
So note also that the groups must be consecutive and non-overlapping. Yeah, we know that. Uh, okay, so we've got to try. So continuity correction is just making sure that there's no gap. So you remember we did this at school. You know, if you said like 10 to 20, 21 to 30, you kind of put it in the middle, didn't you, at 25. So. Right, let's have a look then. So there's a question here, so let's, let's, let's try and get this working for us then. Um, so it says, students in a gym class balance on one leg for as long as they can, and the times are recorded in seconds. Uh, so you can see, look, this is just like the continuity here between the four and the five that we've rounded up to 4.5, and the same with that one, between the seven and the eight, that we've rounded up to seven and a half. So it says, find the missing frequency, right? So potentially we're thinking it's four and a half wide, and it's four tall. So initially we're thinking, so we've got four and a half wide by four tall, which is 18. That's if there's no scaling. So if there's no scaling, then I'm okay. Let's just check it out with a second bar then. So the second bar, so that was four and a half now, wasn't it? The second bar is three wide and two up. So the second bar is three wide and two up, which is six. But if you look, Frequency is three. So that K value from the other side, what I've done is that uh, is I've doubled it, haven't I? So I'm kind of saying that from here to get from the three for the frequency to the six for the area, I've doubled it. Which means that if I've got an area of 18, actually my frequency is 18 over 2 which is nine. So I had nine people. Is that kind of all right with us? So what we're saying is we doubled the area of the bar, essentially. Uh, right, so let's have a look here. Then. So we said that that was an area of 18, but it actually represents nine. This is an area of six, but it actually represents three. So we've got to remember that because uh, I'm guessing we have to... So we've found the missing frequency, give the width and the height of the missing bar and the histogram. So what do you have with that? Right then. So we know that the width is 7.5 to 11.5. So we know that that's 4. So we know the width is 4. The frequency on the 7.5 is 6. So the uh, hang on, Dave. What are we doing here? So we would normally just do the frequency density would be the frequency over the width, which is one and a half. But then I've got to scale it, so it would be two lots of so it's twice as big, one point five. So give me three. I hope that kind of makes sense to you. So the height would be three. So if I drew it in, it's not actually asking us to draw it in, but we might as well. Then it's going to go up to three. Right then, let's have a look. So part B, part one. I'm on nine minutes. Ah, oh, I'm going to run out of time. Right, so I've got, to, I've got to look at the area of the bars. I'm just going to pause it and draw it on. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of time because I was literally too much. Hang on. The less than 5.5 seconds for this one is the first bar at 18 plus this section here. There. Now, that was free. It's going to, that's going to be worth... Uh, that's going to have an area of two, isn't it? So that's going to be 20, which is going to go down to 10. So it's 10 people. I'm running out of time now. I've got 15 seconds left to do the end one. The same idea for the more than 10. So I get the area of both, both of them. We're going to pause it and I'll just put the answer down. 
So the area, if I look at the area, it's down the bottom here. I've got 16.5 for the area, 